Today I'll be showing y'all how to do some super easy highlights with the tinting cap and this video is sponsored by Peerless Virgin Hair. I love their hair and I'll just be doing a really quick simple hot glue gun wig. So I have three bundles of the Deep Curly, they're all 12 inches and you can find out more info down below in the description box. And I just love Peerless hair, like it's always so full and thick and just the quality is amazing. I believe I have the top quality, that's like the highest quality on their website. So make sure you shop their top quality because I definitely think it's worth it. And I love how full the bundles are, they're always super full. And I actually love how um, thin the web is, it's not super bulky. So real quick, I'm going to show y'all how I did this wig. Like it's super, super simple. I'm just doing a traditional like circle type of wig so I can have bangs with this curly hair. So I'm just taking my hot glue gun, gluing it, um, making like a line on the cap and basically putting my track there. As you can see, it's super simple. It's kind of repetitive. I'm just going to be going in a circle all the way around, all the way up to the top. So I just want to show y'all towards the top um, to avoid having to make like a top piece closure or whatever. I just keep bringing it around in a circle until it, you know, can't go no more. And then I like flip over that last track and press that down into the glue, cut it, and that's done. And to hide the little track at the top, I basically just pull the hair over and, you know, it's big curly hair so it covers this up. Now if this was like straight hair, I would go ahead and make a top piece so it could lay nice and flat and, um, so that last track will be covered. But with this curly hair, it all blends in pretty easily. So now it's time to jump into these highlights. So I'm using my camera color lightener and the 40 volume developer for a nice quick lift. So here's the cap that I'll be using for the highlights. I got this from my local beauty supply store. It was only like $1.99 and it comes with the you know tipping cap and the plastic needle. So then I just started by putting all the hair back into a ponytail. It was kind of hard doing that on a wig, but you know, I made it work. So then you just want to put the cap on with the little flappy thing going forwards. That's like to protect the face. We obviously don't need to protect the little foam head, but <laughs> that's just the correct way to put it on. And then you just tie it up underneath the chin. So now I'm taking the little plastic needle and just pulling out hairs. You just want to stick it in, kind of give it a little twist to grab some hair and pull it out. It's really, really simple. So I'll be pulling out hair out of almost every hole because I want like a really bold look. Or you can skip holes if you want like a more subtle look. That's my favorite part about using the highlighting cap is that you can customize your highlights really easily just by choosing, you know, how many holes you want to pull out of, where you want to pull the holes out of. So yeah. It's really easy, but it kind of took me a long time because my plastic needle actually broke on me and I had to grab my crochet needle. So it was a little bit harder to use the crochet needle, but overall it's really easy to do highlights this way. So after I got all my hairs put out through the holes, I'm just gonna go ahead and brush that hair. You wanna make sure you brush it or comb it just to make sure there's no tangles before you put that color on. So now I'm just pulling up all the hair, getting it out the way. And as for that hair at the bottom, I'm gonna clip that up and put a little plastic baggie over it just to make sure I don't get color on that hair. So I'm starting from the back, basically just plopping that lightener on there. It's really as simple as that, just working my way up to the top. And I let this sit for about 20 minutes.
So here's how the hair lifted after about 20 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes, and it lifted really good. And I went on and um, shampooed and conditioned the hair with this Suave Professionals, and I actually left a little bit of the conditioner on. So here's a quick tip on how to dry the inside of a wig. After you wash it, you just want to put a dry towel down on a mannequin head or a foam head and put that wig on there and it'll stop up all of that water. So now I'm taking a wide tooth comb in this cream of nature mousse. I love this stuff. And I'm just about to define these curls and let it air dry. So here's the hair about 50% dry. As you can see, the highlights look so pretty. I'm so happy how they came out. And I know a few people was asking me um, if hot glue guns stay intact like after you wash them and stuff. Mine stayed intact. I had one track that did come up <laughs> and that I have to fix. But other than that, everything else was in place. Nothing like slid off or tracks wasn't sliding out or nothing like that. So I would say, yeah, you can get a hot glue gun wig wet. You just want to be careful. Um, I would recommend just wetting it like with a spray bottle or something. But if you do uh, wash a hot glue gun wig, you might lose a track or two. So just have, you know, your glue gun on deck so you can go ahead and fix those. I haven't cut it or anything yet. I'm actually going to go ahead and throw it on and cut it so I can frame my face. So then I just went in with some point cutting just to remove that harsh blunt line and just give it some more texture and layering. So I'm just framing my face. It took me, y'all, it took me a whole long time to get this cut right. But y'all will see me just continuing to frame it. I cut it shorter, went on and framed it some more, did some more layers. Like, y'all, okay, it, it took a minute to get this wig right. So here's a little trick to get some quick layers. So you just want to turn your wig upside down and just cut it. And that longest part of the hair that you see, that, that's actually like the top part of the hair. So the shorter you cut it, the shorter your layers will be. So I still wasn't feeling this wig that much. So I decided to spin it around since it had more color in the back. So I went on and did the same thing, just layering, face framing. I liked it a lot better like this. And so I kept cutting until I got this. So y'all, this hair definitely just won me over again. Peerless version hair, I'll link all the information down below. It colors so beautifully, I love it, it's so soft. I love the curl pattern. I'm in love with it, y'all. I am definitely a peerless girl. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do. Give me a little thumbs up, and I will talk to y'all in another one, bye.